All right, everyone, welcome to another crazy fishing adventure. I'm Giddo, I'm about to abseil off this cliff. We're gonna go down there, there's a little cave in there that we're gonna fish from and camp for the night. So let's head down there and um, get stuck into it. So I often notice in the comments people saying, what if someone comes and cuts you rope? Well, so what? Let's just pretend someone came and cut my rope. Um, what are we gonna do now? We're gonna go fishing. We'll deal with this later. But it'll make things a little bit more interesting to get out of here. So I'm well and truly committed now, so hopefully we can actually catch something for dinner because otherwise I'm going hungry. Brought the heaviest outfit, which is the 20K Saltiga, 100 pound Taz line on there, gonna throw a placky, and the rod is a Ocean's Legacy Aggressor PE 8, eight foot eight rod. I might throw bait later because I also brought my lightest outfit, which is a little um, Surtate 4000, 16 pound Taz line, and an Ocean's Legacy Quest rod, and a little metal lure there ready to go. Catch some hezzers, catch some bait, have a bit of fun. So let's get stuck into it. Just firing in a one and a half ounce jig head at the moment. See how that goes. See if there's any fish down there that are hungry at the moment. Cliff Gaff is there ready. Burley is in the water down there. Oh, that's a fish. Yeah, come on. A bit of weight to that one. What do we got? Be a break sea card, come on. I think it is. Oh, got him. Yes. <laughs> oh, it's always nice to have some dinner. There we go, we caught dinner or a snack rather, that's just a break sea cod. Personally, I think these are one of the best eating fish going. It's just not a very big one. Let's see if we can get something bigger. That's why I got him on. He's already shaking it free, but um, let's have another cast. Let's see if we can get a few more of these or something bigger. Oh, came back three quarters of the way towards me on that cast. I think I'm gonna go, I'm gonna try to catch some bait. That's what I'm gonna do. Oh yeah, there's Hezzers, there we go. Hezzers! Now to land them. Yup, came off. Yep, I'm on. I'm on! Oh, I'm not on. Go on, come on. Need to land one of these fish, yes. We got one on the deck. They got very soft mouths, which is why the hooks just pull out all the time. But this guy, they're great bait. They're not bad eating as well, but we'll dispatch him and uh, bait. Right, bait's going in. Wait for it. I feel like there's something big playing with it. Yep, something grabbed it. Maybe a harlequin? Oh, hopefully not a wobby. Hasn't done anything, Harley. Come on, bear Harley. Yes, it is too. 
it's a good one. Sick. Oh, the colors on that thing are insane. Nice harlequin fish. I'm stoked on that. So, Braxy cod and a harlequin now. These things, this one will be a male, all blue spots. And um, I love catching these things. Really tasty fish. And uh, fight a bit like a sea anchor, but what they lack for, what they lack in fight, they make up for in taste. I reckon we're gonna lop out a bait or two extra. And then I wanna get the, um, I wanna get the camera in the water. What's going on here? I feel like this one is bent up more than it should be. This guide was damaged. Not the ring, but just like, just the, some of the metal was buggered. But I am pretty rough on my gear on some of my treks. Oh, that's a big fish. Whoa. Must be a sand bar, I'd say. Oh. 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 Yep, sand bar. Quite a good size one. I'm just gonna hold him there for a while. Make sure he's proper tied. Oh, I hate cliff gaffing solo. seem to have him now what I want to do back that drag right off and hopefully I can pull him up oh. nice size sambo right there um, we're going to keep this guy because I just cliff gapped him so uh, we've got fish for days mate but we'll dispatch put it to the side sick fish I'm just going to fill it the Samson fish now because it's too big to fit in my cooler bag um, the Harlequin fish and the Braxy cod are in the cooler bag but then we can put the fillets away at least I've got plenty of fish, that's for sure at least. I'm going to chuck a, a camera in the drink now and hope that it comes back. Got a bit of bait tied on there, just tied on, not hooked on. We'll turn that good thing on. 
is filming. And uh, without further ado, Right, coming in. Nice big bit of seaweed there. Could go good with my dinner. Right, I don't really know what to do with myself now. I've caught what I need. I don't want to catch another Sambo, really. But um, I wouldn't say no to a couple more Harlequin, Craigsea Cod, maybe even a Dewey or a Snapper. So I'll keep fishing because I'm not going anywhere. Stuck here. <laughs> Stuck here until I figure out how to get out of here tomorrow morning. It's a hard life, but somebody's got to do it, eh? I'm gonna fill up the Harlequin and the Brake Sea Cod now. Getting on in the Arvo, sunset's not far off, so. So I decided to do a nice spread of the different fish here. We have Harlequin going in the panko, Harlequin, Harlequin cheeks, break sea cod and Samson fish. It's all going in this bag of panko breadcrumbs. We'll give it a good shake. So I got a new sleeping setup to try out. I do have the bivy bag that I've used previously. That's just if there's mozzies and stuff or if it's a bit windy, you'll keep the wind off, keep me a bit warmer. New mattress. Been using a Cedar Summit mattress for ages, but this is a brand newie to try out. It weighs exactly the same, if not slightly lighter, but it's thicker, more comfy. And believe it or not, that thing is my sleeping bag. It is tiny. Should be warm enough for the summer months anyway. It's, I, I forget what it weighs, but it's it's got to be less than half a kilo. It's ridiculous. Oh yeah, and a pillow. I've been using one of them for ages anyway. All right, dinner time, I reckon. So let's go a bit of Samson fish. 
a bit of brake seat cod and probably the harlequin cheeks because the other bits are big. And that might be almost ready. We will put the Samson fish in. We'll just have to wait for it. Just going to throw another bit of brake seat cod on the side next to it. Another piece of brake seat cod. Let's see how this Samson fish turned out. I should have cut it into a thinner piece or cooked it at a different time rate to the rest. Yeah, that looks good. That's good. It's cooked through just. That is one loaded fish wrap, that's for sure. Absolutely loaded. I'm going to sit back and enjoy this big loaded fish wrap and uh, enjoy the view as well. We've got Samson fish first up actually, I'll tell you how it is. Tastes good to me. Good morning, it's another beautiful day here in my little cave on the side of the cliff. Just put the last of my burley in the water. Been up for a little bit. I'm um, just getting ready to start fishing. And just checking no rope has appeared overnight magically. So we'll make our way up there shortly somehow. Let's go fishing though for now. All right, I'm done for the morning. Looks like it wants to rain as well, so I'm keen to pack everything up and attempt to get out of here before it starts raining. So we'll start doing that. My bag is down here on the ground, a few other things next to it. I will have to come back down after I get to the top and pull them up. Got my anchor belt here, which I already have been using the whole time. And I have my Gregory just here, which I'm gonna put on myself. And all my rope here is spread out, hopefully to free feed up to me nice and easy. So I'll just throw this on. Could almost go smaller, but I think that will do. And now, I'm just gonna use this. There's a foot piece and get me right up there. What I need to do here, this is the hard part, is figure out how to get a solid placement around the corner there. Well, how about that, eh? That was a good test of it, and it didn't work. That's crap. Well, this corner, or this little overhang's proven much more difficult than I expected. Um, just a bit of a closed seam, can't really get any bomber placements in there, at least not on um, 
not while trying to aid it. But there's a corner just around here, I'm going to show you. This was my plan B. Right there. I'm going to take that out. Once again, it's the start that's the hard part. Because I'm just aiding. I'm all for a bit of this. There we go. Tell you what, lead climbing on a gree gree is absolutely horrendous. The rope drag is disgusting. Not that I'm proper lead climbing, but I'm lead sort of aiding, I don't know what you want to call it. We made it to the top, GoPro went flat, but I'm just going to tie off here and abseil down and get the rest of my gear. I think the GoPro went flat, seems to be on now. Anyway. Should be a lot easier this time. Down, collect my cams that I placed and pull my bag out. All right, that's me back down the bottom again. All right, ready to go again. Rod's in the back. Tuck down the burk, poking out there. Haul bag is ready to go. I'll drag it up after. And I have a rope in place this time. So let's get out of here. <clears throat> All right, we're going to haul my bag out now. I've just built a little anchor system here just quickly. Just turn that around to the gates facing away from the rock. Same with that one. Cool. And uh, I'm on that top rope and we'll haul this out. All right, mission complete. I'm up the top of the cliff. Got my backpack here on my haul bag. Got my rods here, I got rope everywhere. I'm going to pack everything up and hike out of here. Thanks heaps for watching everyone. And just note to self, this isn't a how-to video. I do not recommend doing that. <laughs> that was that was a lot harder than I anticipated, to be honest. I saw I had a plan B. If plan A, the original overhanging section, didn't work. And I'm glad I had a plan B because... Oh, there's a whale right in the cove here now. He's epic. Looks like two, maybe a whale and a calf. Seem to be everywhere at the moment. 
anyway sorry i'm getting distracted here so don't try it and lead climbing kind of lead climbing with a gree gree sketchy as and on static well, it's like it's abseil line so it's not much stretching it's not a climbing rope um i knew it would only be good because i didn't plan to do anything that would put me in the situation where i'd fall and be in control the whole time anyway thanks for watching everyone we'll see you all on the next one and in case you're wondering i do carry an epub on all my trips in case things really go south but yeah, cheers. See you on the next one.